Control Jay Z and Beyonce. I know you, man. But they can't control me. You see, it ain't no name I won't name. And I say I'm amazed at Jay Z, not because he's a great rapper. Everybody know he's a great rapper. How the f did he get Beyonce? Because he is a ugly mother. Celebrities and their fans share a special bond, but oftentimes they really don't know who they are supporting. Often this takes an ugly turn as admiration turns into an obsession. I mean, look at people like BTS, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Michael Jackson. Their fans would die for them, for someone like Beyonce, who has been at the pinnacle of fame and success for decades. These incidences are not infrequent. There have been several occasions where the dark side of her stardom was revealed, though. Recently, one such clip surfaced on the internet, which was also shared by basketball great Shaquille O'Neal. Beyonce Knowles. The Los Angeles Lakers legend had previously talked about the music superstar and her husband Jay-Z on his podcast about their uncomfortable moment during the 2023 Grammy Awards. A video is being circulated on the internet where reporters are saying foul and offensive things to people blocking their footage of Beyonce at the Met Gala. The video is said to be a few years old. However, it caught the big man's attention as he shared it on his Instagram story. Hey, Mora with the cell phone! The cell Yo! A video was posted by the Instagram channel Hollywood Unlocked. Some reporters were standing at a distance and were trying to get footage from the red carpet. When Beyonce arrived on the red carpet, someone was blocking the sight of those reporters. As seen in the video, a man was talking on his cell phone and he was unintentionally blocking Beyonce's view of the reporters. The reporters can be heard hurling some mean, offensive, and foul language. One reporter even said, die of cancer to the man. Queen Bey is one of the highest selling musical artists of all time. Her popularity knows no limits, and even after 25 years in the business, she still holds a great deal of relevance in the music industry. Amidst the reporters yelling things like, you're stupid, and get the F off the carpet, the man stood there, probably without noticing anything. The big man reposted the video on his Instagram story. However, this is not the first time the four-time NBA champion has noticed such behavior around celebrities. After the 2023 Grammy Awards, Shaq discussed an uncomfortable situation that involved Beyonce and Jay-Z. Although Shaq didn't write anything along with the post he shared, fans reacted with, it's never that serious, hinting that the obsession with celebrities is getting out of hand. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to the retired basketball star talked about the uncomfortable situation involving Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Trevor Noah during the Grammy Awards 2023 on The Big Podcast. The issue was that comedian Trevor Noah, who was hosting the award, addressed Beyonce as Beyonce Knowles. Although it is her real name, Turner said that Jay-Z glanced at Noah for not including Carter as her last name. Jay-Z's real name is Sean Carter, and the two have been married since 2008. Responding to Turner saying that Noah should have addressed Beyonce as Beyonce Knowles Carter, Shaq gave a word of advice to celebrity couples. He said that the celebrity husbands should realize that these women had their own names before they got married. They had names before you, boo-boo, he said. Let us die young, oh, let us live forever. Have the power, but we never sing. Beyonce and Jay-Z are the power couple to end all power couples. Untouchable, unknowable, unstoppable. They're great together, like on the joint album Everything Is Love, and of course, just as popular apart. She pioneered visual albums like Lemonade. He gave New York City its modern anthem, Empire State of Mind, featuring Alicia Keys. They are great before the eyes of their fans who adore them on TV and magazines and on Instagram, but for those who have interacted with them on a personal level like Big Man Shock, these two can be lethal, and they're far more than musicians. Jay-Z's entertainment agency, Rock Nation, is super successful, and he brought the Nets to Brooklyn. Those ventures, plus his other investments, made him the first hip-hop artist to make the billionaires list. As he says in 444's Family Feud, ain't no such thing as an ugly billionaire, I'm cute. Bay, meanwhile, mentored up-and-coming artists like Chloe and Halle, has the Ivy Park fashion line, and oh right, the most Grammy Awards of anyone ever, 32, 32. There's a reason the Bayhive is so devoted, but how much more do they know about their favorite star? 
The two have been accused of taking out other people they deemed as competition, including Aliyah, Foxy Brown, Blue Cantrell, Kanye West, Rita Ora, and Nas, among others. Even netizens haven't spared the powerful couple, constantly calling them out for their evil deeds like this one who tweeted, Beyonce is pure evil and hatred and cursed and sent a hit on Aliyah because she was pregnant by Jay-Z. I am Aliyah reincarnated. Oops. May 2nd, 2023, I turned 22. Another tweeted, referring to the recently held 4th of July party where the Who is Who in Hollywood attended, if the Illuminati is not real, why all the celebrities just attended this Jewish billionaire party? Beyonce and Jay-Z don't even go to the BT Awards, but they made it that damn party, LMFO. With another simply saying, y'all remember when Kanye called out Jay-Z and Beyonce at his concert and y'all called him crazy? Kanye is not crazy. He's exposing the music industry for what it is. The industry is evil, and that's what Kanye is trying to tell us. If you can remember, Shaq, Beyonce, and Jay were on the same side before, so that means the big man knows the couple pretty well. Remember when Kanye West called out the names and all three were mentioned? Yes, the Jesus Walks hitmaker decided to blow open those he believes are being controlled by the Hollywood elite, and your favorite stars topped his list. They could control Charles Barkley. They could control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. He may have had a rocky 2022, but Kanye West is unmoved by critics. The music and fashion icon's antics often make headlines and push him to the forefront of pop culture conversations. Yet isn't shy about taking his grievances to social media and creating chaos for his targets. From Adidas to his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, those the rapper feels wronged by face public shaming. He touted White Lives Matter and fired off anti-Semitic talking points, causing backlash. Still, he wouldn't buckle to pressure, as proved in a video where he proved the likes of Beyonce are being used to make other people's lives miserable. They can't control me, Kanye said. The powers that apparently can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James, they can control Jay-Z and Beyonce, but they can't control me. The father of four continued on his mission, saying, you see, it ain't no name I won't name, it's up. He continued, and just to Minister Farrakhan, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight. I don't take no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. Let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slights from nobody. And after naming all of them, Kanye and Shaquille had a brief moment on social media after the rapper mentioned the basketball icon in the controlled celebrity list. Shaq seemed especially irritated with being included in Ye's rant. Further, Barkley previously stated that he was disappointed in Kanye. Queen Bey and Jay, just like any other couple, have endured their fair share of marital problems, but they have stuck together, proving further that their union may be more than be my wife, I be your husband kind of thing. The two have been married for 14 years and together for more than 20. The couple shares three children, Blue Ivy and twins, Rumi and Sir. They have collaborated on multiple projects together, like their 2018 joint album, Everything is Love, their 2014 On the Run tour, and hits like Crazy in Love. Yes. Beyonce's relationship has informed her art, though she largely doesn't speak about it publicly. Still, the few comments she's made tell a story. Been connected to. I, I always knew who I was, and I never felt the need to, to follow anyone. I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. It just gives me such a foundation, Beyonce told Oprah in 2013 during an episode of Next Chapter. She continued, he has helped me on so many levels, and just to have someone that you just like is so important, and someone that is honest. Speaking to Seventeen in 2008, Beyonce said what her relationship has taught her. I guess probably that we're all human, she said, per Pop Sugar's recap of the interview. I don't care if you're picture perfect on every magazine cover and you're the most handsome, successful, coolest guy. You still get sad and you still get your feelings hurt and you still get confused and vulnerable and nervous and scared. You have to find a person you can make it through the tough times with. I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. During a 2013 conversation with Oprah on Oprah's Next Chapter, Queen Bey said that she and Jay-Z were friends first for a year and a half before they even went on a date, Beyonce noted that having that foundation was so important for their relationship. Then in a 2013 interview with Vanity Fair, Jay-Z confirmed that he pursued his wife and that they were 
just beginning to try to date each other when they appeared on the cover of Vanity Fair's 2001 music issue. Explaining what try meant in this context, Jay-Z said, well, you know, you've got to try first. You got to dazzle, wine and dine. You know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family. Long story short, they ended up together, built an empire, made beautiful babies, but also reportedly spilled some blood along the way. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.